may have noticed some pianos popping up all around the tri-state. There is a reason for that. Local 12's Tessa DeTiro is live in Clifton to explain. Hey, Tessa, happy Friday. Hey Kyle, happy Friday. I don't play the piano, even though many people in Clifton here have asked me. I can play this. There's just a little C chord for you, but regardless, music brings us together. Maybe it's that melody that makes you move or the song that takes you back. People are making new memories on instruments just like these across the city. This one here is on Ludlow Avenue. No matter where you are, it's easy to appreciate beautiful sounds. Jonah Sorcher and In The Round Theater Company are bringing that joy to Cincinnati. These were pianos that were really roughed up to begin with, and a lot of people, um, the companies might have taken them away and thrown them away. The group work with kids in Madeira and Madisonville to give the keys a fresh coat of paint. Now chords ring out in places like Price Hill, Northside, and Eden Park. If you're playing the piano, some people will come by and watch and stop by and it sparks conversations. Regardless of your skill level or your age, it's enticing to sit down and create. Music can really touch people emotionally and it can help people to understand and um, to understand others feelings. It's kind of a language that everyone can speak in a way. During a week so full of heaviness, the piano project is a space to slow down and listen. So not only is it helping people feel better, but it's also bringing them together so that um, hopefully change can be made. So to check these pianos out, they'll actually be here until the last week of August. We have the locations of the pianos for you in a link at local12.com. For now in Clifton, Tessa Tiro, Local 12 News. Kyle, back to you. All right, Tessa, a great story there. Now, there were 10 pianos. There's only nine now because someone destroyed the one at Grant Park. Hmm.